Hey guys, it's Brenda Turner from brendaturner.com and today I'm gonna to show you some sheet pan meals. Sheet pan meals are the hero of a busy person's dinner. I wanna inspire you to get into the sheet pan game. I talked about autoimmunity and the AIP diet the past couple of videos and this is still, all of this is AIP friendly. If you're watching this and you're like, not sure if this is right for you because it's autoimmune approved. I want you to know this is an effortless fat loss meal. So what does that mean? It means it's anti-inflammatory. It means it's great for your digestion, your skin, your hair, your nails. It means that everything in these meals is supporting overall health and that means it's gonna create effortless fat loss. So don't worry about counting calories when you eat this way. Don't worry about dieting when you eat this way. Don't worry about macros or anything else when you eat this way. This is just an effortless way to attain and maintain a healthy body fat. So I got three sheet pan meals. I've got a salmon one, a chicken thigh one, and some turkey meatballs that we're gonna be making. And let me show you these recipes really quick. You're gonna need some tin foil. That's gonna make for some easy cleanup because I don't know about you, but I'm not, I'm not gonna scrub my sheet pans. You know what? Okay, before we keep going, I'm gonna show you a confession. Can you not judge me? Hold on, don't judge me, hold on. Don't move, don't, don't move, don't go anywhere. I hate scrubbing dishes so much that if a pan gets stuff on it, I, I kind of, I don't know what happened here. It's not like I don't clean the pan, but this is just how much I hate scrubbing pans. That being said, let's put spin foil down because I, your girl isn't scrubbing anything today. That's the mood. And uh, full disclosure, I am gonna go ahead and put some tin foil down on this, <laughs> down on this dead sheet pan and bring it back to life. The first sheet pan meal I'm gonna show you is some salmon, Brussels sprouts, and beets. Like I said, this is all autoimmune protocol approved. And that means that it's very healthy for you. So we're eliminating anything inflammatory, anything that could irritate your digestion. So this is great if you have IBS. This is really good if you have acne. This is great if you have brain fog. This is great if you have anxiety or depression. Anxiety or depression can be caused by and unhealthy stuff going on in your gut, inflammation in your brain. That's the benefit of eating this kind of a sheet pan meal. To season the salmon, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of honey into a bowl, maybe a little bit more, and then I'm gonna put a couple splashes of coconut aminos, and I'm gonna add some garlic powder in there, fish sauce, and I'm gonna taste it. That's good. Now I'm gonna pour that over the salmon. I'm gonna add the Brussels sprouts to the pan. Now I'm gonna chop up two beets. Keep the tops to your beets. Use those in your smoothies or chop them up and saute them. Put them in your salads. Now to all the vegetables, I'm gonna add olive oil. And I'm not scared of a little extra olive oil. I'm gonna also add some more of that iodized salt. I'm gonna add some more garlic powder and I'm gonna add more honey. The last thing I'm gonna add is three whole cloves of garlic to the vegetables. And now we're gonna pop this into the oven at 380 degrees and we're gonna set the timer for about 30 minutes. Our next sheet pan meal is chicken thighs. I've got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs only because my grocer did not have bone in, skin on chicken thighs. But boneless, skinless is, is really, really good too. I'm gonna show you pretty classic Grecian, Middle Eastern vibes, olive oil, lots of herbs. I've got the juice of two lemons here that I'm gonna pour on top of the chicken. And I'm also gonna add a lot of olive oil, fresh rosemary, and thyme, parsley. Now that I've got this pile of fresh herbs, I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic. I got the garlic like right on top of the herbs and now I'm just gonna go ahead and chop everything up. So now I got this beautiful pile of fresh herbs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right in there, just kind of massage that in. Now that I've added these herbs, I can let this sit overnight, I can let it sit for an hour, 
you don't have to let it sit at all. And I'm not gonna let it sit at all. There's been plenty of times where I don't let it marinate or I do let it marinate. It's good either way. I'm slicing up my zucchini and squash. And to these, I'm gonna add some onion. I'm also gonna add some of these rainbow carrots, some olive oil, Himalayan salt from Trader Joe's. I like to vary up my salt because then you get different kinds of minerals and, and nutrients from different salts. Some garlic powder, some dried herbs. This is the Italian perfect pinch seasonings from McCormick. And this goes on so much of my food. Give that a little toss with my hands. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get these chicken thighs on there. And we're gonna put some salt and garlic powder on these chicken thighs. And you gotta give some love to both sides. Gorgeous. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven, 380 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. The last sheet pan meal that I'm gonna show you is turkey meatballs and spaghetti squash with some cauliflower. What we're gonna do with the spaghetti squash is we're just gonna massage in a generous heap, heaping helping of olive oil on all sides. Make sure that it's well coated in olive oil so that way your spaghetti is nice and moist and flavorful. Now that we've laid down the olive oil, we're gonna add some salt, garlic powder, dried herbs, and now we're gonna make our turkey meatballs. For the turkey, I definitely recommend that you get something that has more fat to it. 93%, 85%. Don't go for the 99% because then you're gonna get some dry meatballs that aren't gonna taste great. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some chopped up garlic, I've got some chopped up parsley. I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the turkey and distribute that with my hands. I'm gonna massage it into the turkey, salt, garlic powder, and now I'm gonna make meatballs with these. I'm gonna make some medium-sized meatballs because the cauliflower and the spaghetti squash are gonna take you know, some time to cook, and so you don't want your meatballs to be too small or else they're gonna cook faster than the vegetables. And it's okay if you're taking a look at your food and while it's cooking, it's looking a little bit like uneven. If the spaghetti squash is cooking faster than the meatballs or vice versa, you can always just grab the spaghetti squash and just take it out of the oven. Make sure that your pan is oiled so that your meatballs don't stick. They shouldn't stick because they've got some fat in there, but you know, sometimes the cooking gods frown upon you and you get some situation where you got turkey meatballs stuck to the pan. And we're going to get these cauliflower ready. So I'm gonna give them a little olive oil bath, salt, garlic powder, dried herbs. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven 380 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. All right guys, all these sheet pan meals are done. They each cook for about 30, 35 minutes. Keep your eyes on them though, because your oven might be hotter or not as hot as mine. We've got our beautiful salmon, beets, and Brussels sprouts. We've got our delicious turkey meatballs, cauliflower, and spaghetti squash. And we've got my personal favorite, chicken thighs and a vegetable medley. So good, so delicious, so fresh, so healthy. I've got a grocery shopping list here for you that accompanies this video. So you can get this in the link below. I hope you enjoyed these sheet pan meals. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Relax, take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. So you just need to buy one jar of this $9 ridiculous um, I guess we'll call it yacht yogurt. That's yacht prices, y'all. <laughs>